Welcome back to Straight Facts by Denard Investor. Good morning and welcome back. As you guys are now seeing, a lot of the things I've been sharing with you since August are happening and proving themselves factually right before you, which is awesome. Okay. I've tried telling you when you see one article, don't believe it. You guys have had a ton of one article scenarios. You've had, they came out and told us a few weeks ago they were going to have sessions, seven sessions of parliament in one week. Never happened. Last weekend, they told us they were going to tackle the education minister on today the 5th. That didn't happen. Just on Thursday, Friday of this past week, they came out telling you that they were going to dismiss and remove the government. That hasn't happened. Okay. Guys, the news is horribly scripted. And that's why everything is happening the way it is right before your eyes in the news. You have to be careful what you believe and receive from the news. It's mostly scripted to confuse you and I, the investor, okay? Um, and as I've been telling you, these demonstrations are just background noise. It is terrible and saddening that the citizens have to go through this nonsense while the powers that be drag out and delay the rate change, okay? So it, it's disheartening to see the citizens have to go through all this and, and just to just to live a better lives and, and even have a quarter of the stuff that you and I have. OK. Um, but what I've been sharing with you is happening right before your eyes. OK, there's none of these steps are delays. They have to they still have two major things to do. Before the rate can change. And this is based on the current facts. What I'm telling with you can change through time. But as of where we're at right now with current facts, the two things remaining are they have to finish the formation of the government and approve the budget. The budget probably will not be finalized until roughly or approximately February of next year. Okay. So... Once they finish the formation of the government and approve the budget, because that's where the money for re, sorry for reconstruction and Article 140 and HCL, the mo- the money that they're going to disperse to the citizens will all come from the 2020 budget. Once that's all done, then they can change the rate. Okay, that's exactly exactly where we're at, guys. The facts are all unfolding right before your eyes. I don't have to keep telling you this. And as you saw, remember I told you that they were going to be boxed in a corner. Now you're seeing that. Parliament is not getting a damn thing done because they can't. There's nothing for them to do. Parliament is doing nothing. Okay? They've they've had, I think, three or four pointless sessions of Parliament since they resumed Okay, around mid-February. They're getting nothing done. because that Again, that's because there's nothing left for them to do. So they're scrounging. Um, and remember I told you they would be boxed in a corner and they can't do anything? As you see regarding the demonstrations, they can't do anything. They've offered two things to the citizens in regards to improve their lives. Low-cost housing and some money. As you guys see, there's not a damn thing they can do. They're boxed in a corner. They're pinned with their hands tied. That's why the current government looks like the bad guy because they can't provide for the citizens. And all the citizens see and remember was all the corruption from the previous former government. Okay, so right now, the current government looks like the bad guy in this because there's nothing they can do until they get everything ready for the rate change. That's exactly where we stand, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Journalist Syndicate pledges full protection for media institutions in Baghdad October 5th, 2019. Plus equals. Corkamps Press Baghdad. We are working to provide full protection for all media organizations operating in Baghdad, said Mu'i Ayad al-Lami, president of the Iraqi Journalist Syndicate, and said no one would be allowed to attack any journalist or media organization in Iraq. Al Arabi correspondent in the Iraqi capital said that the office had received threats in the past few days, until the office communicated with the security authorities to provide them with the necessary protection. Indeed, protection was provided for a short time, but the pressure of the demonstrations forced the protection teams to withdraw and leave. In other details, the reporter described that black cars picked up masked people, 
approximately 10 people, wearing black uniforms, broke into the main entrance, attacked the staff in the office of the channel, beat employees with weapons, and then smashed equipment and mobile devices. The correspondent added that the gunmen had deluded the workers that they carried out mock executions, and they spoke in ordinary Iraqi dialect, and then came out of the office to an unknown location, and confirmed the injuries among colleagues during the attack. The reporter said that the team received assurances from the Prime Minister's office and other officials and promises to follow up the details of the attack, and confirmed that there was a meeting of senior officials, one of which pledged to open a full investigation into this attack. The reporter also noted that elements of the federal police declined to provide assistance to the Channel team during the attack. Haubasi calls on the government of Iraq to identify the names of whales of corruption October 5, 2019. Plus equals. Korkamsh Press Baghdad. Parliament Speaker Mohammed al Haubasi on Saturday called on the government to name the whales of corruption to hold them accountable. Haubasi was speaking at a press conference from the Parliament building, after the latter failed to hold a session to discuss the crisis of the current protests, due to the boycott of several blocks most notably the Bloc Serum, the largest parliamentary bloc, and supported by the leader of the Sadrist movement, Muqtadar al sadr He pledged to fight corruption by saying that the scourge of corruption is no different from terrorism, and we will work to fight whales of corruption. He called on protesters to continue to demand their legitimate rights, but avoid clashes with security forces pledging to fight corruption and enact laws that contribute to reforms. The Iraqi Council of Ministers issued the first package of decisions of the session exceptional in response to the demands of the demonstrators 3.20 October 2019 The Iraqi news agency, INA, said that the Council of Ministers issued the first package of important decisions in an extraordinary session called by Prime Minister Adil Abdul Mahdi The special session was held on Saturday evening in response to the demands of the demonstrators and the general public and the text of the speech of the Supreme Religious Authority. The decisions were as follows. 1. Open the door to apply for residential land allocated to low-income people and other categories in accordance with the decision of the Council of Ministers, and in all governorates. 2. Completing the distribution of 17,000, 17,000 housing units to the beneficiaries of low-income in Basra province within a period not exceeding four weeks. 3. Preparing and implementing a national housing program that includes the construction of 100,000 housing units distributed among the governorates, and giving priority to the poorest governorates and regions. 4. The governors shall form committees to sort out the names of the most needy families in their governorates, from the category of those covered by the social welfare network, in order to cover the distribution of residential land and submit the names to the General Secretariat of the Council of Ministers within two weeks. 5. The Ministry of Finance shall strengthen the balance of the housing fund in order to increase the number of borrowers and enable them to build housing units on plots of land to be distributed to citizens and to include this in the 2020 budget. Loans shall be exempt from interest in accordance with the law of the fund. 6. Granting 150,000 150,000 unemployed persons who do not have the ability to work monthly grant of 175,000 175,000 dinars per person for three months, with a total amount of 78.5 billion, 78 billion and a half billion dinars. 7. The establishment of modern marketing complexes, kiosks, in commercial areas in Baghdad and the provinces distributed to those referred to in the previous paragraph during a period of three months at a total cost of 6 billion. 60 billion dinars provided that the owner of the kiosk pledges to employ two unemployed to ensure the provision of less than 45,000, 45,000 job opportunities for citizens, taking into account the priority of those who have been removed stalls. 8. Preparing a program for training and qualifying the unemployed who have the ability to work and the number of 150,000, 150,000 young graduates and non-graduates with a financial grant during the training period of 3. 3 months of 175,000, 175,000 dinars per month persons, and a total amount of 78.5 billion, 78 billion and a half billion dinars in order to qualify them, and run those who successfully pass the training courses in investment companies operating in Iraq. 9. Granting the successful persons in the above training courses appropriate loans to establish medium or small projects from the profit. Making loan fund at the Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs or granting them loans through the Central Bank of Youth Lending Initiative, trillion, dinars. 10. Include the unemployed participants of the training program above the industrial services law by granting them a piece of land served to establish an industrial project with the enjoyment of all the privileges provided by the said law. 11. The Ministry of Defense will open the door for volunteering for young people, 1825 inches, years through the portal or reception centers in the provinces as of the 15th of October 2019. 12. The Ministries of Defense and Interior to take the basic procedures to repeal their contracts in all governorates. 13. 
The Ministry of Education shall take the necessary measures to contract the volunteer lecturers and include the required financial allocations in the 2020 budget according to the need and specialisation. 14. The Ministry of Agriculture shall take the basic procedures to exempt farmers from the amounts of lease of agricultural lands resulting from their previous dues until 31 December 2019. 15. The Governors, in coordination with the Social Welfare Departments of the Ministry of Labour and Social Affairs, shall prepare lists of disadvantaged families due for the purpose of granting them the welfare salaries of 600,000. 600,000 families. 16. To consider the victims as demonstrators and security services as martyrs, to be covered by the laws in force, and to grant their families the rights and privileges arising therefrom. 17. The Ministry of Health shall provide treatment services to wounded demonstrators and security forces and provide full needs at government expense, including treatment outside Iraq, if requested. She said conscious that the Council of Ministers directed the ministries and other stakeholders to implement the above decisions according to competence. The Council also decided to discuss the second package of resolutions related to reforms and the demands of the demonstrators at the next session, and to continue taking the necessary decisions in the subsequent sessions.